Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I am going to show how to get users from the Azure portal. Let's see. To get users from the Azure portal, first we need to connect with Azure portal. How to connect with Azure portal? Using WAD credentials, which will be provided by Azure portal team. Okay. I have already created a video that how to connect with Azure portal using WAD credentials. If you if you want to know how to configure these uh, things, please watch uh, the video which I am adding in the description. Okay, now let's see how to get users from the Azure portal. So log into your personal instance. I have already created this application registries that to connect with Azure portal using OAuth credentials like client ID, client secret, authorization URL, token URL. We need and uh, and we need to configure what and it is scope scope and uh, what scope. And then we need to go to the rest messages. And I have already created a graph API for this one, like um, endpoint, like graph.microsoft.com slash dot default. This is the endpoint. Okay. And for this endpoint, we have already added what to point for authentication type and what profile. Okay. So using this uh, was 2.0 Azure portal default profile, okay, we can get OAuth token, okay? Click on OAuth token. So OAuth token flow completed successfully. To see again these configuration details, please watch the video which I am adding in the description, okay? Now, to get users, okay, default, go to HTTP methods, to get users, Okay, we need to know what is the endpoint. Okay, to get the users and for the graph API to get the users is this one. Okay, copy this one. Okay, and paste in the endpoint. Okay, change uh, the name to get users. Okay, now authentication is like inherit from the parent. Okay, nothing is needed. Okay, save. And test it. Uh, to, uh, we need to test uh, for every REST messages like it is success or not. Okay, to test it, we need to click on test. Click on test. So now HTTP status is 200. We are getting the response from the graph API that all the users list. Now, using this response, we need to store these values in the users table. Let's see how to store these uh, users in the users table. How do we configure, okay, in a, uh, in a your customer instance, okay? Let's see. Now go to the schedule jobs. Schedule jobs. Okay, go to the schedule job. Create a new schedule job. Okay, here automatically run a script using uh, you are choosing, okay? So to get users uh, from the Azure portal daily, we need to configure this schedule job, okay? We need to trigger this API, right? But every time we will not go to, uh, get users and click on test and then copy these things and create an user tables. We should not do this one. It should be automated like every day and so on so time. I need to get uh, users from the Azure portal and create the users or update the users, okay? Based upon the response. So to you to do that, we need to create a schedule script execution, okay? Name, get users from port. Okay, when we want to run daily. What is the time zone? Uh, anything like GMT or CET or anything. Okay, any 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 time. Okay, anything you can use. And at what time daily at one year. Okay. Now this is the part. Run this script. So how to run this script? 
Okay, go to the first messages again and copy, go back. And here you can click on preview script usage. Okay, now you will get uh, these things like uh, all the script to trigger the API. Okay, to trigger the API, we will get the script. Okay, go and copy in the first messages and delete unnecessary things. Okay. Now, in the response body, we will get everything. Okay, everything, every users, all the users. Now, how to, um, now, now, using this response, how to create users or how to update users, we will see. Okay, so uh, from this response body, uh, we need to store the users into user table. Let's see how to store. Okay, I have already have the script. Uh, I have already created a script uh, to get the users or uh, to store the users. Let me paste the script and I will explain the each point. Like, so we are getting the response body and we are storing in the JSON space. Okay, in the object. So depends upon the object length, like ob object value length. So we are going to users table and we are checking the email address. Okay, so let's see what all the parameters we are getting from the uh, get users. So we are getting like a display name, given name, job title, mail, uh, mobile phone, office location, preferred, surname, user principal name, okay, ID, we are getting, okay. So most of the things are empty because uh, I did not configure anything in the Azure portal. So uh, using given name, user principal name, and surname, okay, we will try to create the user, okay. Go to the schedule job. So in the user table, I am searching with the email, okay, with user principal name, if the email is exist or not. If it is there, then we are updating the parameter all the parameters like username, first name, last name, email, or update, okay? If you have different different parameters, you can add it. So how to get this object dot, okay, value. We are getting all the values in the, uh, uh, in the value parameter, okay? Of i, means that is zero first record or second record. And the field name you need to call in this way, okay? If you don't find this user principal name, okay, then you can, uh, it will get create, okay? We need to create the user's record. For example, initialize username, first name, the same script and insert. Here we are updating the records. Here we are inserting the records. Let's see before running the script, okay? Let's see uh, like, uh, for example, let me copy this email, okay? And check in the user's table in the email. We have not, we have this record or not. No, we don't have this record. If I run this script, then it needs to create a user record. Okay, let's run this script. Okay, execute. Okay, now go to the user table and refresh this. Okay, so I got the user. Okay, the user is created from the Azure portal. Okay, like email address is populated, name is populated. Let me open this uh, email. Like first name is populated, last name is populated, and everything is populated what all the parameters we have given. Okay, you can configure the uh, sources like uh, it is coming from Azure portal or ID is equal to, you can add some parameters, okay, in the uh, Azure portal to, uh, to know that this user is coming from the user's table, okay? So all these users, for example, let me go back to user's table, uh, user's table. And you can see this test user one, test user two, and name shape. These users are we are already getting from user state. Okay, so that is how you need to uh, configure. Okay, that is how you need to configure to get users from the Azure portal.
okay using both credentials we are connecting and uh, using the rest message rest call get users we are getting the response using this response we are checking the users and updating or creating as per the uh, user principal name please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time